it if he's smart and trained diligently at it. A tell the tape between Aaron Rosa and Abe Wagner, 9 and 2 versus 13 and 4. Four years the older is Abe, one inch the taller, three pounds the lighter, and a half inch reach advantage to Abe Wagner from armpit to end of fist. Let's go up to Stephen St. John to get us underway. And now it's time for tonight's co main event. Your referee is Chuck Wolf. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighs in tonight at 259 pounds. With a record of 13 wins, only four defeats. He hails from San Antonio, Texas. Let's hear it for Aaron Rosa. Standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighs in tonight at 256 pounds. With a record of nine wins and only two losses. He hails from Omaha, Nebraska. Put your hands together for Abe Wagner. They love him some Abe Wagner after his defeat of Tim Sylvia here last time out. Our HT net. Panel of experts scouting report. Abe Wagner and Aaron Rosa even in the striking. Rosa has the ground advantage, has the speed, strength they're even, endurance they're even. You ready here? That's how we see the here. fight. How is it going to go here. down right here? Corner, Michael right. Chabello, Frank Trigg. Titan 17, Abe Wagner and Aaron Rosa. Well, Wagner doesn't know how to keep his chin down. Rosa's going to take advantage of it and put him on the canvas. So. But I think in this fight, it's definitely going to be a knockout TKO. <laughs> Rosa comes in as the favorite, minus 160. Abe Wagner at plus 130. Bet on fighting.com, thanks to Nick Kalikas. Nice outside low kick there from Abe Wagner. Two very big heavyweights. Stick jab there from Wagner. Nice head movement early on, though, from Aaron Rosa. Double jab right hand of his own, throws a left hook. And that's what Rosa spoke about earlier on, the way that Abe sometimes does keep his chin perched up high. Abe's got to tuck the chin, locks on the Muay Thai clinch, throws the knee, put him on the humorous bone, but there was nothing funny about it. Single clinch on both men, a battle of strength here. And Rosa walks him back against the cage. Both men rip to the body. Rosa goes up to the head, then down to the upper left rib cage. Chance here for Wagner to throw the knee, and he does, pushing the belly button through the back. And they break off. Both men very relaxed. There's already swelling under the left eye here of Abe Wagner. And bad swelling. Jab to lightning fast off that right cross. Already this fight has lasted longer. And Wagner's last fight against Tim Sylvia was over by this time. Jab to again, full punches strung together, all straight line from Wagner. Double leg here, switch to a single for Aaron Rosa. Can he get Wagner down? It's going to be difficult, but also, too, I wasn't expecting the Rosa to shoot it off. He's, um, in this fight, if he tends to get punched, he tends to want to punch back, Rosa does. He wants to make it a battle. We are on the ground for the first time. That's Rosa inside the half guard, and you see Wagner just locking up that right arm. Rosa's gonna take his time and start sliding his legs, his arms free, get his legs up a little bit tired of the body, so he's gonna start throwing out some blows, but he'll take his time doing it. He won't rush this position as long as the ref lets him stay down here. Rosa could throw the right knee here to that left rib cage. They're doing a good job of controlling Rosa's posture at the moment. Here's Abe Wagner. Two minutes 30 remaining, first round of three. Let's go to Ron Crook, cage side. Secret weapon, it, Pete Spratt is in Aaron Rosa's corner. Pete, what's the game plan in this fight? Well, the game plan really is to keep it on the feet and uh, and go forward, but Aaron has a really good top game. So if we can keep this position where he's on top and uh, setting the wizard and doing a little bit of ground and pound, we'll be happy with being in this position. Uh, but ideally, we'd like to keep it on the feet and try to go straight forward with this guy. Underrated ground game for Rosa? Oh, yeah, definitely underrated uh, guys, ground game. Uh, he's had some good stoppages in his past. Uh, against some very good uh, jiu-jitsu guys. So, you know, he, he's been in a position to where he can be able to work at this training camp. And uh, I think we'll be comfortable in this position right here as well. Thanks, Pete. Michael? Thanks, 
thrown. Pete Spratt there, the secret oh, weapon, and man who has done it all. And he's calling the moves of Aaron Rosa here. Kane side. You would have seen Rosa before in Bellator Shark Fights, Elite XC, Strike Force. Six knockout victories from 15 wins, three submissions. Very well rounded for a big man is Aaron Rosa. Inside the closed guard here of Abe Wagner. What does Wagner do from this position, Frank, on his back? Wagner's not going to be able to do anything because he's keeping that guard close. He's just holding on, he's trying to survive. There he goes trying to open up his guard a little bit, but he's got to get some Keep space with his legs. His he's got to get Rosa off, off of him. I don't care how big and strong you are. The guy like Rosa laying on top of you is going to take all your energy out. You won't have anything left when he gets back to his feet. Wagner's got to be careful here yeah, not to break this closed guard and allow Rosa to posture up because Rosa's the type of guy we've seen throughout his career. He can power up, he can hulk up instamatically and deliver some powerful salvos. Nice right hand lead there from Rosa. Muay Thai clinch from Abe and Rosa drops down to a single. This is definitely going to be the theme for the rest of this fight. He's going to get in the big battle. Kind of a haymaker punching sequence and go for a takedown immediately because he guys. realizes that once he gets on top of Wagner, he can't do much with him except survive. Rosa, who made his MMA debut in 2005, went 10 and 0, including four TKOs between 05 and 07. And Frank, as I said, having his first baby, Valentina Rosa, only two months ago, you've got kids of your own. How does it change your life, especially change your approach to fighting? Man, it changes everything. You gotta stay up all night worrying about diapers and cleaning Listen patterns. And I don't care how good your wife is, you just gotta give her a break too, so that takes care of everything. And remember, Rosa works full time as well. Wow. Man, it takes up, it's an entire change for your life. You know, he may be tired, but he may be helped out in his job. He does work as a distributor selling Red Bull. It's a long work day, though. His work day actually starts at 6 a.m. and finishes at 5 p.m. That's a hell of a day to train and have a family as well. Incredible. Let's take a look back at that first round, the opening flurry of the fight. Right, you know, Ragnar's getting hit here. Rosa's throwing these punches. And they kind of look like they're looping, and he kind of just has his eyes closed. But he threw six punches, and four of them landed. You know, and then eventually, he got, was getting hit by Wagner, and Rosa got smart, stepped to the side, so you know what, I'm just going to take this guy to the ground. Steps out, leans in, does a nice, nice run in the pipe, and gets Wagner right to the ground. Great crowd on hand here at Memorial Hall in Kansas City. Joe Kelly, Sam Kaplan have done it again. They've got all sorts here in Kansas. It's a haircut that could hurt. We're ready to rock and roll second round of action. Wherever you're watching live at HD Net, we hope you're enjoying it all. Michael Chevello, Frank Trigg, first round 10 9 to Rosa on Frank's fight card. Oh, the big kibosh! Hammer fist strikes. Here comes Rosa. Wagner in trouble. Boom with the hammer fists. But Rosa can't finish yet. Abe Wagner is one tough bastard. He's got to cover up. Ryder's got to cover his head up. Get his, get his body in there so he can't get hit anymore. Fast side crank arms are slipping over naked choke. Wagner in trouble! His arms pinned by the legs. See how Rosa's got his legs crossed. It's good night, Irene! Rosa has done it! Abe Wagner could not continue the momentum from the Tim Sylvia victory in January. And Aaron Rosa shows yet again he is the real deal. I believe so too. I mean, think about a guy that works an 11 hour a day every day, comes home for two hours to eat a little bit, and then goes back out to train for two hours, and all he does is spar. It's his only training he gets every day because he's a full time, uh, has a full time job. Imagine this guy if he, all he could do was train all the time. How good he'd be. Frank, look. see how high the chin was of yeah. Wagner, not tucking the chin and looking through his brow. Rosa yeah. called it yesterday. He said it. It's going to happen. He can slip right through that nice left hook and puts him down on the canvas. It was, I mean. We saw it earlier. We said the one thing the has got to do is want to keep his chin down. That's what happened. You know, Rosa saw it and exploited it. What a performance here from Aaron Rosa. Here's a look at the tap. Referee all over it. And Rosa scores a, another submission victory, the fourth in his professional career. His 16th win overall. And let's go up to my evil body double, Stephen St. John, to put it in the history books. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is ended at 35 seconds of round number two. Your winner by tap out to the rear naked choke out of the blue corner, Aaron Hur